Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. In the last episode, we made it to Medir. Yeah, you might be wondering why I'm uploading two Dark Souls 3 episodes in a row. The reason is that, as you can see, oh, is this gonna hit? It's gonna hit, ain't it? I'm pretty close to finishing this game. And I'm like, you know what? Oh fuck, how are you supposed to wait? Hold on. It's gonna blow the straight fire, yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty close to finishing this game, I feel like. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just, you know, get on this shit for a little bit. And then we'll... Oh. I really, th I really thought that was cover. Uh, it ain't. It's gonna happen. Yeah, he he doesn't have this much HP. He has way more HP. Ouch! 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 He has a super laser, which killed my ass. I forgot that it triggers. In an explosion. Man, they really like this laser beam attack. Godzilla style in this DLC. Because two bosses use it. So that's Medir. Uh, probably the hardest boss in the game. Actually. Nah, he, he is probably the hardest boss in the game. Um, I was debating. Um, because. Well, there's Freed. But I think, yeah, Freed is nothing compared to our friend Medir. What a boy. So anyways, yesterday, yeah, I know he does that. Uploaded my 10k special. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy it. Uh... Thank you for all the comments and everything. You know, the thing is, as I said, I do try to reply to every comment that I get on my videos. To every non-imbecile level comment. As in, like I get comments which I always have fun with where people find like my, I don't know, like my very first Dark Souls playthrough from 2011 and they're like bro what the fuck are you doing you suck you're the worst Souls player ever and it's like bro have you seen oh oh I thought he was falling watch this it didn't work I was on some pro dodging shit but yeah, it didn't exactly work out So yeah, those are those are some funny comments that I sometimes get and I tend to enjoy. But that's just YouTube, ain't it? Just how it works. Part of the charm, I guess. Okay, Medir, you need to get the fuck off this ledge. Which is weird because he is a dragon and, you know, you'd think that it would be no problem for him to fall down a hole, but, hey, we did some damage. And now, of course, if you go and fight him, he becomes a real bitch. But again, like I said, in terms of comments, I try to reply or like or heart every comment, you know, give you that little hearty heart. If you want, I went the wrong way. Oh, hello. I really, honestly, I'm gonna say that I've completely forgotten what comes next here because... Uh, oh yeah, there is... There is something here. A shortcut. Yeah. 
I want to switch out my chest piece. I feel like this is a cool chest piece, the slave knight armor, but it's not kingly enough. I'm the Lord of Hollows. I should have something, you know, a little bit more badass, like the Lothric knight armor. Yeah. Luckily, I've been pumping up my endurance, so it's all Gucci, and we can, you know, yeah, get a move on. I feel like the next boss is the NPC or the invader boss, right? Invader Zim. Pretty sure. The only question is how much horse shit do we have to go through first? Yeah. Because there is that weird statue which, yeah, you drop down to, but this entire section... I seem to remember there being a hidden weight. I might be 100% completely wrong here. There might be a... I think I've hit every single one of them. But this, this ain't it, chief. That's for sure. Alright, no worries, no worries. We, we don't need to solve every puzzle in the book. That ain't even a puzzle, but you know what I mean, like... What up? Oh yeah? This, this, this dude is a real motherfucker. Who's gonna get backstabbed, of course? He's an idiot. Eat shit and get frostbitten too. Ha, <laughs> that is insanely easy. Um, Wait, you get that automatically? Well, that is cool. I actually did not know that, that that's an automatic drop. Uh, what is... Not gonna lie, I have no idea how this place comes together uh, in terms of as a package. But this is a very nice looking area. Like, I think atmosphere wise, this DLC nails it. I've said that a couple of times now, but really just to, you know, accentuate that how much better this DLC is than fucking Painted World. Alright. I think the time has come to take on this boss. This boss. You've tried to kill me like three times already, so how about a firm yet, as they say. What if I actually get an invader? That would be crazy. If I actually get an invader, that would be the funniest thing. Yeah, Judicator Argos here is gonna fuck us up. I am ready. I am ready for a fight. So basically he like sacrifices himself, doesn't he? Look, are you? Okay. Wait, no, this is just the painted world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, there is... Yeah, he sacrifices himself. I remember this. This dude is a bitch, let me tell you that. His ass is gonna get frostbitten. Oh. Do you see that the little Orbeez saved my ass there? What a parry master. Dang. Look at this dude. He has a doinkest parries. 
this side of the Mississippi. I am bitch. But I got. I got fucking frostbite, so. Don't even. Don't even fuck with me. I don't think so. Ganking. Ganking is frowned upon in my circles. I don't think so. Oh, I tried to kick his ass. Oh, how epic, epic, epic. I said epic with an A. Look at how epic, or listen to how... Whoa, okay. You need to go. I'm gonna, I know, I know I'm healing. Yeah. What an idiot. Walking into my <laughs> heavy attack, yeah. I got an invader. Actually, come to think of it, I've not fought this boss on screen. Yeah, I've not fought this boss on screen. Yeah, I'm right. Because when I was playing this DLC originally, I got... Yeah, I got a dude who died in like three hits. Dang, yeah, that's... I remember. Okay, well, that didn't happen. I mean... Still wouldn't even classify this in the... Well, this is actually one of the easiest bosses in the game. Even still, I would say. At this stage, considering that uh, most people are fairly overpowered at this point. So, you know, he died like a bitch. What can you do? All right, give me some. <clears throat> I don't know. What do we need for Gale? Uh, screw it. No one has ever been hurt by more HP. So yeah. I know this is, this has gotta be the, try hardest build I've ever made. But hey. Sometimes for this game you gotta go try hard. I really wonder how Gale will play, because I had some trouble with him the first time I fought him. The only time I fought him, but it wasn't like... He wasn't like the Demon Princes, let me tell you that. Because the Demon Princes are the real motherfuckers of this DLC. <laughs> this entire game, to be fair with you. Because Midir you can ignore, which I plan on very much doing. How do you get to Midir? I genuinely don't remember. This is a cool scene though. You can make it back from here and it's okay. Yeah, this like doesn't lock you out of anything. There she is. Might want to get a gardener in here. Should we? Should we end the world? We should. What an idiot this dude is. This this dude ruins everything when you think about it. As in the player character. What a dickhead. But this is a cool cutscene though. Not even gonna front. Dang, she got long eyelashes. For sure Maybelline. Look at the king. That's me.
Now the lore masters have been going crazy on this. You know. Yeah, she dead as fuck. I read some interesting lore on what exactly happens here. Basically, let me just break down Dark Souls lore time. Yeah, that is so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> With Anor Londo in the background and Lothric Castle and all that. Basically, the main theory is, I choose to believe this, is that you don't actually get transported into the future. The world is already looking like this outside of a drink city. But there are some like implications in this game that light is the same thing as time. So according to the lore masters, basically when you like the ring city is trapped essentially in this time bubble where it's not being affected by anything like the fucking restaurant at the end of the universe. Get that reference. Yeah, I'm a cultured boy. Uh, and when we wake her up, it essentially just kind of all comes spilling out. And the Ring City kind of instantly catches up with the rest of the world. Something like that. That's what I kind of like that interpretation. Yeah, she's dead. What a bitch. I'm just gonna... I have a Dark Soul as well. Several, actually. Look at this. Like a badass walk. I mean, this is not the most kingly weapon. This is a fucking giant... Ice-spewing mace, but hey. I feel like you gotta do a badass walk, but it's gonna take too long. This is a giant, giant arena. I genuinely have no idea how this boss is going to go. Mr. Gale. Is this where we need to go? Yeah, yeah. I was right. This is very badass, though. I gotta admit, they did a great job with this boss. Because it's like, again, lore implication. It's the end of the world. Everybody is literally dead. And in the end, it's not two gods, not to whatever dragons or whatever battling each other. It's just two extremely overpowered humans. But technically still humans. Again, which is pretty cool. How like mundane this boss is. What? Still here. Can you hope that thing your dark soul? Okay, that is badass. Just standing over the hill. I'm the king of Launder, bitch. You better believe it. Artorias style, let's go. And of course, this boss, or I mean this cutscene, puts you in the shittiest place to fight him too. Okay. Not gonna lie. I was expecting more damage. Oh man, do I not remember this fight. Okay, you can frost him. Oh yeah, that's the freak out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, so, unfortunate thing about that cutscene again, it puts you at like the worst place to fight him. Man, he's not taking a lot of damage. In fact, he's taking very, very little damage. Okay. That's gonna be a problem. A problem. Yeah, this is way better. This place to fight. Phase one. Look at him just like scurrying over here. 
I don't remember if I should go locked on or unlocked. Many frostbites quick. Oh yeah, this phase is locked on. This second phase is insane. Gotta get very far away from him. Oh shit. Pretty sure I was done. Holy shit, this dude is straight up not taking any damage. I'm just looking at it like I hit him a lot of times and he he took he shrugged it off. This is gonna be annoying, ain't it? This is gonna be a problem. First of all, why is he not taking damage? Is he like resistant to something? Blunt damage maybe? Hits blunt and nothing happens. As in I hit blunt. Whoa, I hit that. That's the attack. I was just about to mention before I started this fight. He has an attack that I never figured out how to dodge, I think. I'm pretty sure I was dealing more damage than this to him. Oh fuck. Chug chug. Yeah, he has a fake out. This is this is this is not gonna work. Like I'm not dealing any damage to him. Alright, let me just this is gonna be the adaptation phase. Yeah, he doesn't stun for long. That's for sure. Okay, I'm not gonna care about my Estus here. Just survive until I can. Yeah, he's gonna catch me. Oh yeah, that doesn't actually work like Manus' stupid attack. That's the attack. And it gets more... This boss, like, progressively gets more aggressive. And he... Gets, like, more move variety as well, I think. I might need a new weapon for this fight. I mean, I have a shit ton of resources. It ain't no big deal. Maybe, like, a, an ultra great sword or something. And now comes the hard part. Although to be fair, I think he actually becomes less difficult to dodge in this phase. Just he has a shit ton more attacks. And more annoying attacks as well. Uh, overall. Yeah, still ain't taking no damage, that's for sure. What I like about this weapon though, is that it gives me a huge swing arc. Oh wait, look, he's taking he's taking more damage in this phase. Problem is he gets even more difficult as the fight goes on. Yeah, this is now 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 this is the bitch phase. 
And this is what I mean when I say I don't have... Oh, no, no, no. It's like lightning and shit. This is God of Wars straight up. Don't ask me how I'm avoiding any of this, but... I am. I always think I can hit him for more, but he just doesn't stun. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't mind. In the end, he was taking more damage. What a shit phase. But the first one, the first phase is where it is a problem, I think. Alright. My question is, do I have an Ultra G? I just want to try. I mean, I have a metric fuck ton of resources. Look at, look. I mean, look at, look at this. Like, let's just check what I have uh, that I can use. Great axe, nah. This, nah. Do I not have ultra greats? Because I see a lot of X's. X gonna give it to you. Cargo flame hammer, pickaxe. All this like weird shit. Seriously, I don't have. This is the only ultra great sword I have. What am I? 16 decks. Yeah. Fuck decks. No way. Huh. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. Where the hell do you even get an ultra great sword in this game? Let me just take a gander, as they say, in Firelink Shrine. See what's available. I straight up don't know where you get, like... Is there even a standard Ultra Great Sword in this game? Now, what rings you got, bitch? See weapons, scimitar, halberd, crescent. Nah. What about you? Oh. Yeah, there's a quest line. Yeah. What an interesting NPC. As in, I'm talking about him. You don't sell shit. Huh. Grey Rat is gone, of course. And what rings you got? Oh. I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? Was that new dialogue? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, nothing interesting. She don't sell no weapons. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a problem. This is a problem. Sorry about the weird noise I made. Uh, I was just thinking out loud. It seems like he's resistant to blunt damage. Like I said. Which... Begin transposition... Yeah, what do you got? He got... We got Lorien's Greatsword. This is an elemental weapon. That's a whole different shebang. Oh, fuck, how do you... How do you check, check, which... Uh, strike. Yeah, yeah, we have strike. Standard. Oh, we have this. Yorm's Great Machete. I kind of I kind of fuck with this weapon though. Or I could get this. The Dragon Slayer Great Axe. But this is also elemental and this one ain't. I kind of fuck with this weapon. I'm not going to lie. It has, it's very simple. So simple that I can't even find it in my inventory. Hold on. It's just going to take an hour or two. Man, I'm so cluttered. What what is a great machete even count as? 
Well, this is the stupidest moment on the channel, that's for sure. We have mail, yeah. Murakumo, Croquills. There it is, hidden in the corner. Look at, I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. I mean, the only problem with it is that it's got a very linear move set. Let's see if I can upgrade it. Fully, I don't know, and without souls, I don't think so. I just want to see. I just want to see again. With this amount of resources, why shouldn't I? We are going to reinforce weapon. Now I know where it is. Fuck it. Can you infuse this as well? I don't remember if you can. No, no, you can't because it's not a standard weapon. Yeah. I want to see what kind of damage I can do with this. This is just an experiment. Let's go back to Filianor's rest. To be honest, let me just check, because why the hell do I still have the silver cover, the silver serpent ring? At this point, I mean, I'm pretty much strong enough to carry myself through the rest of the game without a single level. So yeah, why would I, why would I even keep it in the ring slot? Served me well, that's for sure. But instead we can get... Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Wolfring plus three? Hell yeah. I just noticed I have that. Okay, if there's no difference in damage or just like minor differences, I'll prefer the... Yeah, there's... It is a little bit more... Man, do I hate that attack. No, th this overall deals more, because... Do you see how it's, uh... It's faster. With the choppy chops. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, this is... By the way, I am not taking this attempt seriously. At all, don't worry. I'm not being an asshole on purpose here. And there's just something very satisfying about this weapon. I think the way the character kind of... Like, you know, just like a straight up... When you get to one of those like peeking duck shops and when they chop up the duck... That's how they do that. <laughs> like, holy shit, okay, this is a good weapon. Fuck it. Alright, maybe I'm taking this damn seriously. Because I just noticed how little um, resources I've used so far. This man straight up has a Gatling gun. I cannot believe it. I shouldn't shouldn't be an idiot though that that attack Don't ask me what's happening. On a scale of 1 to 10, how dead am I? Probably 10. Yeah. Okay. That phase 
is a bitch. However, not impossible. However, we're gonna need to leave it until next time. Because I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, yeah, this is... He's not that hard. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Is this weapon buffable? No. <laughs> can't buff it with that. By all... No, it's not. It should be, though. Wait, doesn't this thing, like, steal HP from your enemies? I might be confusing it with something. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3. I almost forgot which one this is. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.